It's finally here, guys. The 10,000 subscriber, super limited to amount sold, anniversary edition t-shirt. And to celebrate this occasion, I have changed the logo to red and white because that makes it special. And along with this, I have fictional quotes from pinball manufacturers as if they were the ones that were making this t-shirt. And some of the pinball manufacturers approve of this shirt. Get yours today at silverballswag.com. Links in the video description down below. All I'm saying currently is that I like what I see with what they're doing. And I urge them to continue to keep engineering, to do what you're doing. And who knows, guys, they may come up with something that is going to be satisfactory for all of us. But I can understand how polarizing it can be for what you're seeing right now, because mainly it's different. And a lot of us do not like change. That was one year ago. One year ago, Turner Pinball brought their newly re-engineered type of pinball machine to the Chicago Expo show. And the response was, I would say, overwhelmingly negative to the company, the machine, the price, almost everything. If there's anybody that took a beating when it comes to, like, feedback about your newly releasing product that's up and coming, I think Turner took the most hits bar none. But as I stated in my video last year, they're almost there. They just need to make a few changes, and that's what they did. Chris took all the feedback, good, bad, ugly, and has crafted a machine that I can honestly say I enjoy. I didn't get a chance to play it at Texas Pinball Festival because the lines were just too damn long and I don't feel like waiting in lines. But this year, I've managed to get up there and play a couple of games towards the end of one night and then at the beginning of the show, it was one of those where I had this urge to play it again. I don't know why, but that's a good thing, especially when it comes to pinball. If you have an itch, like an urge, just like, ooh, just one more game, that's what this game has now oddly enough, brought to the table. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, Carrie, you've been, you haven't made a video in a couple of weeks, and the first damn video you make is talking about Ninja Eclipse. Yes, and that's because as of today, as of merely a few minutes ago, Turner Pinball has officially sold out of all 100 of their Ninja Eclipse games. So by all means, a huge congrats to Turner Pinball and the team there that are making this game, that have crafted it, improved upon it over the last few years, and made it to where people want it. So definitely, golf clap goes out to you guys over there. I'm happy for you. This is good. I mean, I look back at the footage from last year that I recorded about their game, and I'm looking at the footage that I have this year, and they've made a lot of changes, especially underneath the play field. As an engineer, Chris is definitely OCD about a lot of things, and that includes wire management and making sure everything is nice and proper and clean and stuff like that. And you look underneath the play field of, of Turner Pinball's Ninja Eclipse now, and... Holy crap, it is definitely nice, clean, organized, barely any wires. The only wires you're basically going to see are the ones going to the, the PCB boards and the coils. And as far as like repairs go, and it looks like it has quick disconnects in case a coil goes out or anything like that. So a lot of this has gone into basically troubleshooting and maintenance down the road for people that are going to be obtaining this game. I even got a chance to take a look at their playfield at the end of the show, a whole weekend of getting beat on, and the playfield looked like a sheet of glass. It still looked great. So the quality of what they're doing with their playfields seems to be pretty damn good. I mean, at the show, I think what was drawing me initially to go play this game is that as I'm standing in certain lines or walking around the show talking to people or overhearing people, there are certain games that people were talking about. And to my surprise... Ninja Eclipse was one of the top games people were talking about. And I think the reason why people were talking about it was due to what it was last year and how far it's come to now. And I think a lot of people were just kind of taken back and surprised to go, you know what, this game's actually pretty good. 
And then people are always up in arms wanting, where's my original title? I want an original theme. I'm tired of these licensed themes. Here you go. This is what you've been looking for. This is what you've been asking for. You want an original theme? You got it. You got a price point that's basically right there alongside the pro model for your stern. And it, the quality looks great. So when it comes to gameplay of this, I feel like if you are a skilled player, it may not be up your aisle. But I think as a typical, like a casual player, even like myself, this game is pretty much right up your aisle. Because it's got a variety of, of unique shots. It's not just your basic little run through of a fan layout or anything like that. And I think the rules seem pretty simplistic enough to where you kind of get an idea of what you're supposed to do by starting the battles. There is going to be a little bit of a learning curve when it comes to leveling up uh, certain features. It's kind of got an RPG aspect to it. But I think once people get it into their homes and they start learning it, it's going to be pretty straightforward. Now, I'm supposed to be going down there to Turner Pinball to check out their facility and stuff like that to see how things look, so I'm looking forward to making content for you guys about that in the near future. Now, I'm definitely curious to see where Turner Pinball goes from here. I mean, we're definitely a year out before they finish all these games, and we have any kind of inkling of what their next game is going to be. Will they be a company that only does original themes? Or will they start dabbing into the licensing effect? But... I think if they want to keep their prices low where they currently have them at right now, then they may continue with that whole original theme. And I think as long as they keep going where they're going, keep giving us updates via Facebook or whatever, showing us every time that games go out your door, that's going to help you in the long run. Put more faith in your company and the reputation will continue to grow. And I think your next game will be even better than this one. That's it for right now, guys. I've got a lot of content coming. I've got a list of things right here. I was going to do one giant video, and I was like, no, we're, we're going to break this up into little ones. But so stay tuned to the channel, guys. Peace out.